Oh, hey, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Brian the Divine Healer here with you. Packed in tight to get a little intimate personal setting for you today. That's right. Who's on the board today? Ha <laughs> ha. Aquarius Pisces. It's up to you right now for your reading. Okay, so sit back, relax, enjoy this message, okay? I got a mic right here, so you can hear me pretty well, okay? I got the hiccups, sorry about that. Diaphragm stuck. So, welcome to the channel. Thanks for clicking this video. Subscribers, members, I appreciate y'all too. You guys are fantastic. So let's do this, okay? So I got my light series tarot deck, for one. And then, I'm gonna bust out the steampunk deck, just for you. So I'll do double, double cards, right? One for one. It's something new I tried. I think it's pretty, pretty groovy, baby, yeah. All right, so we'll get this out. I just took a little cruise today, went around, did some things, had my cards with me, decided to pull over, jump in the back of the Bronco and do a couple readings. Yeah, so check those out. Back of the Bronco, busting out, I'm terrible. <laughs> All right, one more time and let's do it. Yar, a little stressed here. What's going on? All right, we'll start with these guys. Here's your first card. Ooh. What do you got going on here? Really? Well, now, justice is prevailing. <laughs> yeah, you can't see the cards here, so I can just toss them in any kind of pile. You know what I mean? So face them towards me. So there it is, justice. That's nice. That's a nice card to start off with. So you're either seeking justice or justice is being sought unto you. But either way, it will restore balance to the universe, okay? That's why we have justice. Ooh, the full card. Look at you, chain leap of faith. Boom! Okay, so maybe your justice is to take a leap of faith, to have a brand new start, a brand new journey, right? I like that. That's fantastic. Full card. Being brave. It's like... Geronimo, <laughs> this is a trust fall, seriously. So this basically means that you have to trust into the divine to catch you because this is going to be your justice. So he's saying take that leap, just fall back, right? Get to the Empress. Look at that. Empress. It's beautiful. You're chilling on your chair, right? What is that? Fireball in your hand? Oh, shit. I don't think I would be messing with the Empress. Or she'd be throwing some fireballs. Look at the magic. Yeah. This Empress got it going on. I'm not talking in that kind of way. She's unconditional love. So you're, you're being... Your judgment is to take a leap of faith and directly into the, see, this is you, Timber, you're going to fall, and the Empress is like, don't worry, I'll, I'll just catch you, and you just fall right into the lap of the Empress. This is your justice. That's what's supposed to happen. Well, for you. All right. For you, we pull another card. Ah, uh, time out. My dog, I'm in such a tight space. My dog's got to go out. Time out. Let's try this. <laughs> okay, baby. Let's just go check it out. <clears throat> tight squeeze in there. <sighs> All right, so we're back. Let's get into your next card. Pulling another card from the Light Sears tarot deck. Which is this? Oh, my camera kind of moved. Time out. All right. Okay. So, the Page of Pentacles. Let's play with y'all. Page of Pentacles. Boom! There it is. There's the offer, my friends, right? So, it looks like the offer is coming from the Empress. But these roles could be reversed or switched. So this offer could be come to you from the Empress. Ooh wee. Mmm. That's pretty good. Here we go. Next card. 
three of pentacles. Collabo time. Yep, collaboration coming together. Come together right now. Because the Emperor's got you. All right. Wow, that's kind of rare. Mm. Do you know this Empress? Have you been first this person before? Hmm, Three of Pentacles collaborating and Nine of Wands is putting things behind you, getting over things and obstacles. Maybe there's just some hurdles that you gotta climb over before you can actually collaborate and accept this offer, right? That's more the deal. Yeah, there's some things that are still holding you up right now. So you're not really able to move forward to collaborate in this present moment because this is how we do it. Present moment time, right? You loving it? I'm loving it. Hit that like button. Let's go. Mm. Uh, don't worry. Everything is a divine timing. This will be success for you. Put those things away. Put them behind you. Just jump over the fence if that's what you gotta do to get to that Empress because you'd be a fool not to. Because that fool card did come out. Alright, let's keep going. Feeling the heat on this one. Told you, double card. Let's back this up. 61 is a success. The devil card. Self-sabotage and manipulation. The devil's in the house. There's a devil in the house. There's a devil in this house. Sorry, that's from WAP. <laughs> I heard that the other day it was a mix with Bohemian Rhapsody you know, from Queen and I just rolled my ass off it was so funny because <laughs> it was like the melody of the Bohemian Rhapsody but with the words in the song of WAP <laughs> Google that shit you'll see you'll laugh too Woo, I had to save it in my playlist it was so hilarious and then there was like a whole bunch of other ones that came out like that that were parodies mixed with other songs and I was like that's the jam dude <laughs> okay so 6-1 so this could be like a false sense of victory. False sense of victory. Yeah. Okay. False sense of victory. Why? Because you still have things to get over before you can actually collaborate with passing an offer off to the Empress. Oh, camera moving around everywhere. You know what I'm saying? All right. So that's where we're at with that. I like to recap the story so no one gets lost. You know what I mean? Because sometimes it's easy to get lost. All right, let's move forward. That was a light series tarot deck from the devil card. What the hell? All right, it's, you know, whatever. It's, it's a false sense, right? False sense. Because you still ha you still have some attachment, codependency issues you're working out before you can have the success. That's all that really means. Which is still not saying that you're not going to have it. It's just... You Take time to iron the other stuff out. Or the other person has to, right? But I don't think if an empress, you could be the empress. Well, no, you weren't really the empress, so I'm sorry. Yeah, it ain't gonna work that way. All right, so here it is, Eight of Swords. But I don't do reversals. So, yeah, there it is, Eight of Swords. This is all part of that false sense of security, false sense of, uh, you know, Trying to have it before you can have it. Right? Having that bit of false sense of victory, this is what you're overthinking too much before you can even collaborate because you gotta jump these. It's not it's not that bad, right? It's not that bad, it's just minor. Okay. Because the Empress won't let you get that part. I mean, to actually be with the Empress, because she's gonna smell it, know it, and taste it, and she's gonna be like, nah, you got things to fix. Right? Yeah. It's okay, I'm okay, baby girl. See, told you false sense of security it's all in your head it's going to be smooth and easy right so your course ahead will be very easy with you ironing out the things that you have to before you can move towards this empress and when you do move towards an empress it'll be smooth it'll be easy because why you're being guided this way now it doesn't have to be in a love romantic situation it could be with work 
could be uh, exes that coming back together to be, um, you know, uh, decent to each other. However you see that. But it's definitely pretty strong energy. So let's move on. You got your daggers out, do you? You gonna shake somebody? <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, tough choice. Tough choice. It's only because it's in your head. Otherwise, it's uh, pretty easy, pretty smooth, pretty easy going. You're just making it harder for yourself. Why? You're probably just sweating it because it's the Empress. I'm just saying. You're going to wear your best dress and all that stuff. Uh, uh, have a date on, you know, with the Empress. Mm -hmm. Talk to talk and walk to walk, baby. That's how it is. Two of Swords. And the next card is the King of Cups. Yes. The King of Cups. So you're not letting your logic mess with you. It's your... I mean... Your logic is messing with you, but not your emotions. Look at that solid as a rock that he's sitting on, on top of the water, but a little bit in it, right? So that means you're on top of your emotions because cups represent emotions. And what do you put in a cup? Water. Ooh, imagine that. Yeah, so you're definitely emotionally solid is just the overthinking part right we fell out here is the wands of a king oh yeah juicy fruit baby juicy fruit king of wands uh, look at the chair you're ready to be like jumping over that chair to get up after that empress that's how strongly you feel about that person. Yeah. Well now, isn't that just gravy? Let's keep moving. Man, I remember, I just had a flashback. <laughs> I don't know whether, I'm kind of embarrassed, but I'm not, but it's funny that I'm sharing it with y'all. Uh, I just had a vision of like hearing the 70s music, like 70s funk disco, like Soul Train shit, right? <laughs> and I remember that was like one of my favorite shows when I was a kid, yeah. So it was just like me sitting there watching it on TV, this is the vision, <laughs> this is everything I see. Okay, so sometimes the collective consciousness is a vast amount of information, right? And so it depends on your channels um, how much of those programs you can watch. And I was apparently watching two at the same time. Yeah, something in my past and obviously a message here. So let's keep going. That was funny, man. Yeah, Soul Train. Love that shit. And by the way, you know, I have some uh, West African in me, so <laughs> it vibed really good with me. Boom, justice. There it is. Okay, so with the scales of justice, that brings you balance. So you're finally going to be able to put whatever you had to put away and put them down. So that way you jump that fence and then you get to go to the Empress. And so when you finally get ready to take that jump and leap off your chair to go towards that Empress, um, you're imbalanced. They balanced. Scales of justice is balanced. And we had justice in the beginning, so that's justice twice. C, one justice, two justice. Mm. So you get two justices. One, you overcome the caca that you're dealing with until you get to the Empress. And then when you get to the Empress, you'll have justice with that because it's going to be easy going with this Empress. Because that's how they are, baby. You see her slacking in her chair? That's pretty damn easy going to me. Keep going. I like this setup. I don't know. I might keep doing this way. I like the personal part about it. Look at this. Look at this. The Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Easy. That's my friend. You going Hey, girl. Easy. Hey. She just woke up from bananas. Hey, 
Frenchy. Frenchy. Chill. Thank you. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, this is now you two together. The Empress and you, or vice versa. And you have a little kid. But look at this is the divine. This is your, your guardian angels. They're slipping you what? An envelope with money in it like they do in the weddings on TV. <laughs> when you got certain friends, you know? You know what I'm talking about. But yeah, this is it. This is family. This is your justice. This is what you get. So now you'll be able to start building your foundation oh look you even have two little dogs in there too that's so damn cute that's a whole family see and that is just just for you justice two justices let's get a couple more cards come on baby it's okay she just woke up she wakes up and she goes, what planet am I on? <laughs> but she's a good spirit chaser offer. Tell me that. She barks at the wall a lot. Okay, there's the four wands. There's more confirmation of the marriage. I mean, this is beautiful. Four wands. So you, now you guys get to enjoy all the things that you build together and, and you know, reap the harvest. Take that in reward. Nice. Beautiful. I love it. Okay, hey, now we're going to follow this the Four of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. What are you going to say about that? All right, long-term investment. Slow and steady with the Empress. You got this. Mm. Beautiful, look at that. Seven of Cups. So part of you is like, is this too good to be true? Is this real? Is this a fantasy? Am I living in illusion? Am I really with the Empress? Which you're like, all right. About to be rounding out here with judgment. Judgment has been called because there is your chaperone overseeing the union of you two. Wow. Congratulations. That has been your personal and intimate reading right here, right now for you guys. So enjoy that. That was fun, right? So when you go out in the world, be safe. Peace and pray, my friends. Enjoy your work week. Don't work too hard. And I'll see you later.